So I just recently dropped a video on 10 advanced fragrances every collector should have. So in order to get to the advanced level, you have to uh, have at least smelled a few different fragrances in order to kind of get there. Uh, but what, what if you're starting out, right? You got to start somewhere. Everyone does. We all started at some point. And for me, I like to look back on some of the fragrances I started with. And I also like to look at some fragrances that I have now that either weren't out when I was starting or maybe they were and I just didn't really get my hands on them. But I want to provide some of that to you. I want to give you guys who are just getting into collecting a little bit of a jumping off point. It's very overwhelming, you know. Every day it seems like a new fragrance pops up, whether it be designer, niche, or indie. And so it seems like it, it just gets harder uh, with every waking moment to you know jump in and get started. So uh, these seven right here are going to be just a really good place to start. And that's why I went with seven as well. Could have even done five. Didn't want to go with the top ten because even those can be overwhelming. Seven fragrances that every beginner should have. I will link them down below to discounters. If you are new, uh, shopping discounters is the way to go. You just save a ton of money. I mean, I've saved tens of thousands of dollars at this point, multiple tens of thousands at this point, I'm sure, shopping through discounters instead of paying retail. Now, I do pay retail for new releases because that's kind of what I do here on the channel. I give those coverage, but a lot of times it's not even worth it for you guys to do shop discounters a lot of these are half off retail and even greater than that links down below and so we're going to start off with rojas loam right here we've got blood orange juniper berries and pineapple big fan of this one it's newer not brand new but uh what i like is it has a little bit of a, a refined almost classic feel especially when you smell the atomizer the dry down like right here, it's been a while since it's been sprayed. It has this really nice muskiness, a bit of this refined smell. So this one is gonna be a little bit of a different choice. I feel like most people putting together a video like this wouldn't think of this one. Uh, but my idea is to have this one kind of geared towards the someone who's a bit more mature, uh, perhaps an older gentleman who's wanting to now dive into collecting. You know, it's easy to just start throwing in a bunch of youthful cheapies and stuff, but not everyone who's starting out with fragrances are, are teenagers in, in their early 20s. You know, you could be 35, 40, 50, 60, whatever. If you're wanting a place to start and you want something mature, Rojas Loma is a nice option. It's uh, a little bit of a blue fragrance, modern thing inspired, like a Dolce & Gabbana K, but much better. However, it does have that maturity in the dry down, which I really like, and that's kind of what I try to do here. Try to have a nice mix of fresh and sweet and young and more mature smelling, and that's where this one falls. More mature, very aromatic, great for spring, early summer, fall, or just a year-round scent. Very versatile, not all that much money either, and for the price, great quality, good performance too. So next up, we're going to go with an Armoff, everyone's favorite brand, right? Very controversial here. But the fact of the matter is, uh, diving into a niche fragrance, especially a Creed, right out of the gate is, um, really, it's not a smart thing to do, in my opinion, first of all. And second of all, a lot of people just aren't even, they would see the price tag and they would be repulsed. Even at discounters, they would be like, absolutely not, no way, never. And so I wanted to include this one because while this fragrance here is going to be a clone, uh, it, it's a fantastic DNA that has to be one of the easiest to wear, uh, you know, most summertime smelling uh, fragrance DNAs ever. It just so happens that it originated from a very expensive brand, but you can get it for a lower price. This one is Armoff Club de Nuit Milestone. So we've got stuff like sea notes, red fruits, ambroxan. There's some other citrus fruits in here. Has this nice melon smell. Uh, smells fantastic. And we really do pick up on that melon note. That's something that older batches, older bottles of Creed Millicent Imperial were kind of known for is that juicy, vibrant melon opening that as time went on and, and reformulations happened and batch variations happened that kind of went away. So this one captures that photorealistic strong melon opening with that nice vibrant red fruits, some of the watery aquatic notes in here, the sea notes, and of course the ambroxan kind of, uh, you know, filling in the place of an ambergris and the real creed uh, kind of giving off this marine, fuzzy, sparkling, semi-sweetness. Sure, the bottle is tacky, very loud, fingerprint magnet, 
can get scratched up because it is a painted finish. So do be careful with that. And yes, the diamonds and everything, you know, it, it's not the most attractive thing, right? Like some of these others are going to be. But for the price, this is very, very good. It's an eau de parfum. It's stronger than the Creed. At least it's going to be on a lot of people here, especially talking newer batches. Like I mentioned in the beginning, uh, one of the most wearable, just, just, you know, most happy smelling summer DNAs out there. And if you're just starting out, something like this is going to have you hooked. Next up, we've got an Emporio Armani fragrance. So at this point, uh, given the, the nature of the pricing across the board, um, these are going to run around the same price as Giorgio Armani. At one point, these are almost a little bit budget friendly. You know, you got Giorgio Armani, which is basically always 100 plus, even in some of the smaller bottle sizes or nearing that. And then these Emporio Armanis, I believe at one point, couldn't you get these for as low as 50, 60? Maybe I'm losing my mind, but I could have sworn, you know, especially with uh, the original that I'm thinking of here, it was much lower than kind of what they're going for now. Again, that's, that's just how it is across the board and not just in fragrances either. Prices on everything are just up right now, but this is stronger with you intensely. Currently about a hundred bucks, so not affordable, not cheap, uh, not that it ever was necessarily cheap, uh, but to me, it is really a great, great scent, very worthwhile. Toffee, vanilla, and cinnamon are just a few of the main notes. It's a much more strong and rich version of the original. I always struggled with performance from the original Stronger With You. A lot of people, it was a beast mode skin right out of the gate on them. Never had that experience, but I really do get it well from intensely very strong stuff. And one thing I do want to reference also, and being that we're covering a more expensive scent, I wasn't really looking at budget for this video. I was looking at uh, scent profiles, you know, DNAs. Uh, I've done many, many cheap fragrance videos on the channel, which you can reference, and a lot of those will be beginner friendly. I didn't want to be fighting a budget with this. Obviously, niche aside, I wanted to just kind of let the creativity flow and let, you know, let the uh, scents themselves dictate the placement here, and that's what I did. This is going to be looking down the most expensive out of everything else, so everything here will be a little bit more affordable, but I just wanted to throw that out there. This one's very playful, very youthful, but it is a great wintertime scent, fall and wintertime for guys out there who want something that's very mass pleasing. Next up, we have a Bulgari man. This one is Glacial Essence. So I just did recently a full buying guide on basically the whole lineup except for some of the discontinued limited edition ones. Uh, and in that video, I basically told you that this would be a good jumping off point if you're wanting to get into the Bulgari man lineup. And, you know, I still think that a couple weeks later, fortunately, um, it, it really is. It's going to be the most wearable, the most versatile, maybe not most versatile because stuff like Bulgari man, extreme, super citrusy, very versatile also, but it's going to be the most mass pleasing because it has more of that modern trendy compliment getter DNA sprinkled in here to where uh, just your average consumer is going to gravitate towards this one the most out of everything. So it's a great place to start, but it's also a great place to start if you're just building your collection in general, not trying to jump in any line in specific. You just want to start building up a, a nice small little collection of solid fragrances from you know reputable designer brands. This is one that I'd recommend you go with. It is on discounters now. Prices come down on it a bit. Not a cheapie, but also not absurd either. And it's a very, very pleasant, great summertime scent with a lot of mass appeal. Uh, performance is good. It's an EDP. Very nice stuff here. So next up, we have a Valentino. This is pretty exciting, right? You get to get into a you know, nice high-end designer brand. Uh, pricing on this one's going to be up there as well. I can't remember for sure where it's going to fall. I do think it is a little bit more affordable than the Armani that we were talking about. Not going to be by a whole lot. But again, I didn't want to let that influence me too much. Uh, this DNA here works like magic. It's a popular fragrance DNA. It's utilized in a lot of different fragrances from a whole bunch of different designer brands and probably some niche brands in some way and I'm sure some indie brands. This DNA is all over the place. You've probably smelled things that are similar, uh, but I do like this one because while it is a, a popular DNA, it does provide its own twist. The quality is fantastic and all around I do think it's a nice starting fragrance if you have some money to throw around. Valentino Womo Born in Roma. Presentation is fantastic. They did switch over to cap style on, you know, these Born in Roma fragrances. Um, very, very cool stuff. Mineral notes, ginger, and violet leaf are some of the main notes. 
So that may not tell you a whole lot, pretty generic, but uh, what the scent will tell you is that it has a little bit of an Invictus Aqua, Yves Saint Laurent Y, Eau de Parfum, Eau de Toilette, live twist. Probably more so live because of the way the ginger and, and sparkliness goes on. Uh, so it's kind of like that. It's very fresh, clean, lavender heavy, a little bit spicy and vibrant and bright up top. It's got that, you know, touch of sweetness with a whole bunch of freshness as well. Uh, you know, it, it's nothing that's going to blow your mind. But for a, a beginner, you know, we're not really looking to do that. We're looking to just kind of get your feet wet, you know, kind of slowly ease you into the hobby. And from there, the world will open up, your eyes will open up, and then you can start experimenting with the daring stuff, the harder to get along with stuff, you know, like maybe you could eventually work into a Valentino Womo Intense, which is completely different than this. Uh, but this is really a good starting point. I kind of think that was their goal with this one anyway. It is no to toilet. Performance is going to be okay. It's not going to be the best. We're not really, uh, you know, setting any awards with that but it does do much better in the heat in the summertime. This is not really the time of year for it or cold weather isn't anyway. Uh, get this one uh, on your skin, out in the heat in the middle of summer, it's gonna project well. It's gonna last a good amount of time for you and it's gonna get you compliments like crazy. My girlfriend loves it. She loves this DNA in, in, in general. So really anything that smells similar, she's gonna like and that's gonna be the same with most everybody out there. So we do have to go with a uh, Creed Aventus inspired fragrance for this one. Uh, to me, it is very important. You know, I've recommended uh, Creed Aventus style fragrances to some people in real life when they're kind of asking me and, and trying to consult with me on, you know, what should I pick up and this and that. Oftentimes I will point them towards like a Mont Blanc Explorer. I've uh, even recommended people. I think I gave someone a bottle of Club de Nuit Intense Man. Uh, so, you know, I will recommend Creed Aventus style fragrances. Like we were talking about earlier with Milseem Imperial and Aventus is even more expensive. They're, they're just not going to want to do that. Uh, but this one's Mercedes-Benz Select. So this is one of the more lesser known Creed Aventus clones. Okay. It's got Ambroxan, Apple Musk, Bergamot. The Bergamot's going to be giving off the pineapple impression here. Um, it's really, really impressive. The opening on this one is far better than Mont Blanc Explore. Great pressurized atomizer. The amount of vibrance and juice and black currant apple ambroxany mixture going on is amazing. I mean, this is incredible stuff. Now, you know, the Mont Blanc is always going to be probably more popular. It just got that spotlight more um, and it is Mont Blanc after all. Uh, but this one's really good as well. Don't sleep on it. The opening's better than Mont Blanc. Now the Mont Blanc will have some other things on this one, being that I think I do get better performance out of Explore um, and, and all of that stuff. And Explore is also a little bit kind of more watered down than Aventus as well, but it, it still works great. I still do like it. I think it's a good alternative, but I also really think that this one is a great alternative. That vibrant, juicy opening is is bar none. I mean, it, it, it's hard to beat. It's hard to compete with. I mean, this is going up against some like Parfums Vintage uh Aventus I iterations, which those are typically a hundred plus dollars and you can get this one for like 40. Is it going to touch the quality of actual Aventus? No, but you know what? It, it does better than most. And last one for this video, great beginner level scent. We have a tester actually that I just noticed. This one is 212 VIP Black. And I don't know if, yep, holding it the right way, tester. You can see it right there in bold lettering, tester. And of course we do have a beautiful magnetic solid cap a great presentation here hefty a lot heavier than some of my other bottles here um, really does feel good in the hand feels of high quality and this one doesn't really cost you a whole lot of money either this one's got vanilla it's got musk lavender absinthe anise uh, it's another sweet fragrance this is going to be more fall and winter time cool weather oriented like the emporio armani and very very mass pleasing has kind of that bubblegummy sweetness to some extent here. Uh, it's definitely gonna be on the youthful side. Uh, it's kind of how this video trended, you know, um, youthful. Uh, I guess there's uh, there's a little bit of a mixture. I guess you have uh, the Rojas and the Mercedes Benz being a little bit more mature. I mean, Creed Aventus is, is top level stuff. Um, it, really, even Milseum Imperial or uh, Milestone Armoff 
that's kind of got a liquid gold, like Rolex on a yacht, <laughs> super expensive smell to it. Um, and then we do have the youthful ones like uh, Strong With You Intensely, 212 VIP Black, Born Aromas. There's a nice mixture here. Uh, but the point is you can find something that you will like as a beginner with this video. Whether you're looking for a fall fragrance, a summer fragrance, a date night scent, a, uh, you know, uh, office fragrance, work fragrance, school fragrance, whatever, you're going to find it here. Uh, great, great uh, variety. And like I said, price point wasn't my big focus here. Uh, I've done many cheap fragrance videos, which I'd encourage you to go reference if you're kind of trying to stay on a budget. Um, but, you know, this, this is a really, really good an addicting starting point. You're gonna get some of these and you're gonna be hooked right off the bat because these don't mess around. They aren't uh, Nautica Blues or even Nautica Voyages, right? Those maybe will you'll be like, oh, that smells okay. I wanna continue to explore. You're starting with some top tier fragrances right here, right out of the gate. You skip the fluff, you skip the BS, you skip the junk cheapies. I'm not saying that Nautica Voyage and Nautica Blue is junk, but if you start with some other cheapies that aren't really that good, it's a bunch of fluff that you've wasted your money on and that you didn't like. These are all really, really good right from the beginning. You cut through all the BS and you get into some good stuff. I will link these down below to discounter so you can pick them up at a price below retail. Uh, that's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. Good luck on your newfound addiction and hobby. And we're going to see you back on the channel tomorrow. This never stops. You're going to see more and more fragrances tomorrow that you're going to want to get as well. Yeah, sorry. Take care.